I'm Jane Bauman, and I'm a Southern California artist that lives in Huntington Beach. I'm also a full-time professor at Coastline Community College, and this show is titled Flora Bow, and it has a very special meaning to me because the second half of the title of the show are the first three letters of my last name. And flora, I think, self-explanatory. You know, it's, it's about flowers, it's about vegetation, it's about fecundity. Bow means work, and it's also a German slang for whole. And I have a, a particular fascination with polka dots, and I'm very interested in uh, floral forms and using them in a non-sentimental way. This exhibition is really the culmination of about three or four years worth of work and I think I have gone as far as I can into this particular theme. It's about drought, it's about desire, and it's about trying to depict what I want to happen. My name is Laura Black. I'm the curator of Fourth Element Gallery. Along with the exhibition Flora Bow, Jane Bauman released this limited edition catalog. It was uh, designed to include most of the pieces in the Flora Bow series. And it also includes an essay um, from Dr. Joanna Roche. And what we see here are pictures of some of the pieces that were selected for the Flora Bow exhibition. Um, since we couldn't include all of the works, we just did a survey of the works, but all of them are included in the book. These three pieces are based in photography. This was the very beginning of this body of work that I call Flora Bow, Floral Works. It all started in 2003 when I was teaching study abroad in Florence, Italy. And I was staying in this beautiful condo that had frescoes on the ceiling. And I'd hurt my ankle, and so I started meticulously copying them with, with charcoal drawings. And these are photographs of my charcoal drawings. I've always been really attracted to that kind of Rococo art. Rococo art was some of the first art in the last thousand years in the West that was commissioned by women. It's quite feminine and yet strong. I've also been working with Rorschachs and making Rorschachs for a good 10 years. I've probably made thousands of them. So I took these photographic prints I did of the drawings and on top of them, I put translucent vellum of Rorschachs. They involve both a unique painting on top of a photographic print. And the one in the middle is a photograph that I took in Palermo. And one of the things that I do is I photograph gardens. And I have a whole theory about plant intelligence and how it manifests in us and I think that there's something called a vegetative intelligence. These two pieces are among the works that I did that involved some photography out in Joshua Tree National Park. And it's probably one of the driest places in Southern California. And so I was sandwiching together photographs of Joshua Tree of the rare outcroppings of, of wildflowers that happen there in the spring and marrying that to iridescence. And I've gotten really interested in this series about using iridescent paint and opalescent paint. And to me that is like, that is just what water looks like. It's what wetness looks like. I'm also interested in the whole rainbow motif, but there's so much like corny, schmaltzy rainbow images. I wanted to create some type of a rainbow effect that was not sentimental. And uh, there's sort of like that biblical reference of, you know, no more water, the fire next time that we seem to be experiencing at the moment here in California. I'm trying to conjure up somewhat of an, an antidote to the drought 
The work is grounded in drought, the California landscape, and desire.